hello guys hello people welcome to my youtube channel and yes this background is fake <laughs> yes i'm sure you guys are wondering what kind of beautiful background i have here with me but guys i'm sorry to disappoint you like spoiler alert the background is actually fake yes i said it this background is fake and guys i know some of you out there like those let me just say that a lot of youtubers there that would be like i don't have a nice background i have i don't have a nice setup i don't have like let me just say in general a background that is nice for you to make your shoot or to shoot your video guys i've come with a solution for you guys today how to actually change the background of your video yes that's going to give you that wonderful enticing look that beautiful look that you so desire so yes just like you're seeing in this video right now so yeah i'm going to be taking you guys step by step on how i achieve this wonderful beautiful background so stay tuned and guys do not forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the other side of my so once you've gone to ai you just through your your google you're going to click on leonardo ai and it's going to come out like you put your necessary requirements like your username or password and once you've done that you are going to actually see like the beginning of this place yes like i've seen now ai generation once you click on ai generation it's going to bring out this particular part so now in this box here you're going to see like i wrote here a beautiful bedroom with bed inside that has a curtain and a side bed lamp with a nice carpet floor so this is what i want ai to generate for me so you can just go ahead and put in whatever you want ai to generate for you and it's going to give you exactly what you asked for so if you want to use exactly what i use you can go ahead and do so so now once you've done that you want to click on generate once you click on it you have to be patient and scroll up to see if it's actually loading so once you see it loading you have to wait for a while for the picture to actually come out like i'm doing now so yes my picture is out so guys you want to just save go ahead and save all the pictures that is if you want like i did so you can save all the pictures or save yourself the stress by just screenshotting if you screenshot it it's still going to turn out perfectly fine but you have to crop your picture to come out really perfect size like normal or as it should be so this is me just actually making sure i download and save all the pictures to my phone you can do exactly the way you are seeing now in this video you can do yours exactly the way i are seeing it so now once you're done with that you want to make sure you've done everything i've said here now and this is just basically me checking if there's anyone i've not actually saved to my phone yes so you have to he head now to canva so once you head to canva you're going to like you're seeing now is actually loading so once you head over to canva you're going to click on youtube thumbnail once you get there you just click on this white box yes this plain background so once you get the plain background you just click on this ai generation this image once you click on it it's going to get you to this point this position then you just want to drag down your picture once you drag down your picture to be the same thing to be aligned this accordingly according to this thumbnail so once you've done that and make sure it's properly like perfect like you want or as you are seeing now so you just want to go ahead and spice it up by adding maybe whatever elements of your choice like i am doing now so i just go ahead to add the subscribe icon youtube subscribe icon so you can go ahead and add whatever thing you want maybe like youtube play play icon or play button but i just prefer the subscribe button so you want to adjust it to be a little like a, like just smaller not bigger in size like you are seeing exactly in this video so yes for me i don't like as a shiny red like this like pepper red so i just want it to be a little bit dimmer so i go ahead to filter and edit the color yes so you just have to scroll back and if you want to do it exactly by did just click on this last 
part this means once you click on it you see that has automatically changed yes the color has changed then i'll just go ahead to save my my picture my image yes so once you've done that you want to head over to CapCut where you'll be editing your background so once you're there you have to click on new project click on the picture you've edited for on your canva once you click on it then it's going to give you this yes once it was it shows you this you have to drag your image again drag it to be perfectly fine like perfectly okay see it cannot drag anymore that's if you have been using cap cut you know some of them are saying see, it can no longer drag again so once you've done that you go to add overlay once you once it gets to this picture you click on the video you want to change the background yes so it's going to show you something like this so now you want to make sure that everything's aligned perfectly fine so once you've done that like i'm doing now you just have to go to cut out once you've gone to cut out you click on remove background and yes it has, the background has automatically been removed so you just want to go ahead by adjusting yourself on that background so you don't find yourself hanging on the air yes so you wouldn't want that so once you are perfectly settled on the background you want to go ahead and just check what you're editing to see if it's giving you what you want so now if you notice some parts are blank or some parts is blank and some parts has a background so now you want to fill in the gap yes by just it's just like no long process just have to, you just have to keep going one out of the other adding up the background in wherever blank space you see like once the video has not got to the end and you are seeing a blank space just exactly the way you are seeing this bitch in this video now just like i are seeing now some part is blank black and i still have a remaining video so yes you just have to keep on filling the blank yes guys trust me this part is the most stressful part and it will take your time but you just really have to be patient and keep on filling the gap yes so you just have to keep on doing that till you, you've gotten to the very last part like you're going to be seeing in this video just take it step by step and you understand what i'm saying so you want to make sure you do exactly the way i send this video if not you're not going to get it right so yes that's just what you basically have to do and just why i'm showing you guys all this is so you can understand because some people might not show you guys what i'm showing you now so just follow step by step process and you're going to achieve what you want so now you want to make sure that your video and your background are properly like the end of your video and your background are properly arranged check it so now like i see here now you just have to where you see that your video has ended you move a little bit forward and click on split yes where you see split down here click on split do not cut your background directly where your video ends if not scab cut logo is going to show your video like you see now i gave a little bit space before i cut my my mini background so yes there's a reason for that like i said before so now you just want to this is me trying what i did out so guys you want to practice what i've done and do not forget to tag me in your video so i can see what you actually be able to achieve hey guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you like this video if you like this video i would like you guys to try out this video experiment it and do not forget to tag me when making your own video so i can see what you made or how you went about your own background so see you guys in my next video bye